Next on PIJN News, Dr. Chaps reports on these important issues. In the heartland of Missouri, there is a battle between the forces of life and death between pro-life and pro-abortion, particularly in Rolla, which is the middle of everywhere. Today we interviewed Joe Dalton with the Pregnancy Resource Center. Former Navy Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt took a stand to defend religious freedom by daring to pray publicly in Jesus' name. Now he helps you by reporting the news, discerning the spirits, and praying the scriptures. Would you pray with us? Here's Dr. Chaps. God bless you in Jesus' name. My name is Chaplain Gordon James Klingenschmidt, Dr. Chaps, and you're watching PIJN News. On this show, we like to do three things. We report the news, we discern the spirits, and we pray the scriptures in Jesus' name. On today's show, we have a live interview with Joe Dalton, who is the founder. He and his wife have created the Pregnancy Resource Center of Rolla, Missouri, and he's welcoming uh, he's welcome on our show via Skype. How are you today, Joe? Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Chap. I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for inviting me. You got it. So uh, what is the name of your organization? It's Rolla Pregnancy Resource Center, um, and we are what's known as a crisis pregnancy center, um, but we don't like to call it that because to God, nothing is a crisis. Um, but we, we are here to help women in need who are dealing with the stress of an unplanned pregnancy. So in short, we save babies for a living. So you start by offering free pregnancy tests to any woman who suddenly finds herself pregnant, maybe expectedly, maybe unexpectedly, but you offer free resources. Uh, what kind of resources do you give them? Well, so, uh, Anything that they possibly could need. Need we 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 have um, we have this attitude that no matter what the situation, there's no mountain too high too high to climb, that God's going to provide what we need to to help that client to choose life. We've we've never ever met a woman that truly wanted to have an abortion. They just feel like they have no other choice. So our job is to find out a way for them to not have to do what they don't want to do in the first place. Um, and we've been very successful. We've, we've, um, God has saved over 3,800 babies since we opened here in 2007, and we've only lost 11. So we're operating at a 99.7% success rate, which is unprecedented. That's incredible. 3,800 successful deliveries of, of presumably healthy children. Um, what, what kind of questions do the young ladies have when they come to a, a place like yours? Well, when they're, when they're in an, an abortion-minded client, her, her story is going to be different than anybody else's. But the one thing they all have in common is that they're in the middle of this really big storm. And our, our, our help, our job is to guide them through that storm. Um, one thing we do differently than most centers is we only use professionally certified life coaches to work with these clients. So they're not working with a counselor, they're working with a certified life coach. And what the coach does is walks alongside them and helps them to unpack their story and helps them to, but basically they ask very powerful questions and then they use the answers from those questions to ask more powerful questions. But what they're doing is helping to get that girl to dig deep inside of herself so that she knows what she should be doing. Interesting, so there's a pro-life aspect to this. Um, where does your funding come from? Uh, if people want to donate, I want them to go to supportmyprc.com, that is like Pregnancy Resource Center, supportmyprc.com. Uh, why should people give? Um, why should people give? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> They should give because there's no more important thing than life itself. Um, one, of, one of the things we tell our, our donors all the time is because of our very high success rate and because of our very modest overhead, it only costs about $500 to save a baby here. $500, $500, that's quite the bargain. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, we've got a human life saved from abortion and parents spared this dreadful sin for 500 bucks. That's Amazing. 
Yeah, that is seems yeah. like a really good investment. And there is now a tax incentive for residents of Missouri, not from the federal government, but what is the state government doing to give you back those tax credits? Right, that, you know, thankfully the legislature here in Missouri is very, very conservative. Um, uh, what they've given us is, is the <laughs> Pregnancy Resource Center's 70% tax credit. So any Missouri donor that donates $100 or more gets 70% of it back right away, uh, right off the top, off the Missouri taxes. So a $10,000 donation, $7,000 is coming right off the top, and then you can still write off the rest on your federal and state taxes. So essentially, you're deciding, do I want my tax money to save babies, or do I want to give it to the government? That's what you're deciding. And a tax credit is much more important than a tax deduction. You're not just, you know, deducting this like a charitable gift. The, the state of Missouri is essentially matching your gift. 70% comes back to you and you only end up paying, you know, 30% of your, of your donation. Uh, and then you can take the 30% and deduct that. But a 70% tax credit means you're using government money just by opting to give now. Missouri residents really should, should support this. Go to supportmyprc.com. Let's take a short break. When we come back, I'll have Joe Dalton talk about why Planned Parenthood has moved to Rolla. Dr. Chaps will be right back with more PIJN News. You know, I've been doing a lot of praying and for years I've been teaching about the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Now, what really happened on the day of Pentecost in Acts chapter two? Why did the disciples receive the power from God to do Christian ministry? And how can you experience the baptism in the Holy Spirit for your own power ministry? This is a five part teaching, newly available. We just put this out. Part one is the baptism in the Holy Spirit, how to receive the power of God in your life. Then we go into part two, the gifts, the power gifts of the Holy Spirit. Part three is every instance we could find of speaking in tongues throughout church history. It's not an old gift, it's for you today. And also we have interviews with Charles Johnson and Lana Heitley. I wanna encourage you to get this product when you visit our, our website, PrayInJesusName.org. Click on the online bookstore at the top of the page, PrayInJesusName.org, available for a suggested donation of $30. Or you can call us at 866-Obey-God. Again, that's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. This is a topic that uh, in the last century was responsible for up to 800 million Christians around the world experiencing the gift of tongues and their own private prayer life. How can you have powerful intercession in your prayer life with God? This will energize you as a Christian and it's all Bible-based. This is real step-by-step -step instruction through the scriptures. We want you to have the baptism in the Holy Spirit. Before you even uh, begin to experience that, it might be important if you learn what the Bible says about that gift. Again, yours today for a do suggested donation of $30. Get this product today at PrayInJesusName.org. Operators standing by at 866-Obey-God. I'm Dr. Chaps. You know, Jesus taught the parable about sowing the seed, and you don't want it wasted. You want it to grow with 30, 60, 100 fold for the kingdom of Jesus Christ. I'll tell you three mission areas that we're doing here at Pray in Jesus Name. I think our charity does more with less than any other charity I know. We are fertile seed. For example, number one, we pray in millions of television homes every day or every weekend on eight networks. We have 2.5 billion home TV impressions every month. The second area, we feed orphans and children. In some of the poorest slums overseas, we're building a new vocational school, we're digging wells, and we're serving the poor when you give to pray in Jesus' name. Number three, we defend religious freedom, especially for our troops and our chaplains. We've now helped send five million petitions to Congress. We've helped change bad laws or policies in 13 states and four times in federal law. You know my story as a former Navy chaplain, standing up for the right to pray in Jesus' name and defending religious freedom. Would you donate today? In fact, we want you to come up monthly pledge sponsor. When you visit PrayInJesusName.org, 
On the right side, click the monthly pledge sponsor button at PrayInJesusName.org. Your monthly gift will help change the world in Jesus' name. Empowering you, the grassroots activist. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps, joined again by Joe Dalton of Rolla, Missouri. Joe, where is Rolla, Missouri? R O L L A. Yes, we're halfway between St. Louis, Missouri, and Springfield, Missouri, um, right in the middle of the state. In fact, the tagline of the city is is the middle of everywhere. <laughs> I like that. Um, and it's a small town or city, I don't know, but you said recently Planned Parenthood moved in. Why? Isn't that crazy? After Roe versus Wade fell, the only new new build or new build out they did was in Rolla, Missouri for that entire year. Um, so in the nationwide. middle of a state. Yeah, nationwide. Wow. So in the middle of a state that abortion is illegal, they decided to put a center. In. Um, so um, a couple of reasons. Number one, they know our success rate. Uh, we've actually, when we do our banquet for life, we'd live stream that free on the internet. We've caught them watching it twice. Um, so they, they watch us very closely. Um, that's one reason. The other reason is Rala is a crossroads. And, um, you know, when people from surrounding counties need to go shop or go to the hospital or whatever, they come to Rala. Um, so they know that. And so Planned Parenthood's whole game plan is this is more of a sales office and a bus depot than anything. So they, they, they sell the abortion and then bust them to Illinois to, to kill their children. And of course, Planned Parenthood is America's largest abortion facilitator. Sometimes they do them themselves, some, many times they refer them out, but they get federal subsidies and federal grants, whereas now uh, you're getting state tax credits to people who wanna donate. Um, why is there a battle between the federal level and the state level? <laughs> um, you know, this administration doesn't like us very much. Um, and, 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 and really, um, we've never been able to get federal grants like this, the way Planned Parenthood is. I mean, my goodness, they get over a billion dollars a year from the federal government. That's absurd for a no nonprofit to get that much money uh, from anybody. But anyway, um, you know, the, uh, even when um, our, our past president, President Trump was in the White House, um, we didn't get federal grant money. So it's just a matter of, okay, well, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to figure out a way to, to make it on our own. So we're, we're, we're operating this facility completely on donations from companies and from individuals. Um, and the other thing to, to point out is that whenever Planned Parenthood sells an abortion, they're not doing it for free, they're selling it. That's $500, $800 into their pocket. When we help a mother, when we save a baby, it costs us money. We don't get paid. We don't charge for our services, none of them. So it's it's quite a dispar disparity there, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah the, the contrast is this. Um, a mom doesn't have to pay you and you'll help her have the baby and, and cover most of her costs. Whereas to kill the baby, it's gonna cost money out of the mom's pocket. She's got to pay someone to help kill her child. And then the other contrast I noticed is Planned Parenthood is getting grants from the government. You guys never get a government grant. Um, you have to have it from private donors uh, and maybe the donor can get a tax credit on their personal taxes, but you never see a dime of government money coming directly to you. Oh, we don't. And I, you know, part of me says, okay, <laughs> you know, God's got plenty of money. Our donors have been, have been very generous. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's always worked out. I mentioned earlier that we always say that there's never a mountain too high to climb for our, for our donors and, and or for our clients to, and to save a baby. We're, this is the human life we're fighting for here. But a recent client, uh, Mariah, who graciously lets us tell her story, um, when she first came to us, she told her coach, if it's twins again, I'm getting the abortion. And that's when we found out that she had five-year-old twins, she had three-year-old twins, she had aborted a set of twins a year before, and now she was here again with pregnant with twins. Oh my God. Um, so 
So she had a lot going on. She was about to graduate college too. So she was very busy. She was broke. A lot of, lot of reasons that she was thought she had to have the abortion. Uh, but in her list of reasons was one that got to me, and that was, we don't have a car big enough. Do they even make eight passenger cars? And and I laugh because when we first moved to Raleigh, Jane and I, we didn't have a car with enough seats either. We had to follow each other. So um, so we said, okay, well, let's see if we can do that. Well, I, I put out a fundraiser specifically to find and purchase a car for her. And we were able to accomplish that in a local car dealer actually called me and said, Joe, you don't know me, but you need to let me buy this car for this family. And I'm like, okay, why? And he, and, he, and he said, well, and this was beautiful. He said, I've been a car dealer my whole life. So if anybody can do this, it's me. And then he said, but I've only been a Christian for a few months. So if anybody should do this, it's me. Wow. And it was, wow. it was just such a beautiful, uh, Thing. And I, of course I said, yes. I mean, um, and he, he demanded that he, it be anonymous. Uh, but there was one day that he got to meet those babies and he got to meet that mother. She didn't know who he was, but, um, he just happened to be here one day when they were here. So it was just really a beautiful thing, but that's just an example of us doing anything we possibly can to help them to say, yes, you know, if we could take enough off that list that they think that is why they have to kill a child, um, then they'll be brave enough to choose life. And because the donor was so generous to give an eight passenger car, the mom decided to have the new twins and now she has six kids? Yes, she has six living kids. Um, we just did a special in our, uh, a, a write up in our newsletter about them. Just a beautiful family. Um, and the, the guy is still there. Um, we're not married yet. We're still talking about that, but, um, but the babies are safe, so. Praise God, praise God for, for his provision. Okay, uh, we're gonna take another break, but give out, your website is supportmyprc.com. We'll be right back. This is PIJN News, defending your religious freedom. Dr. Chaps will be right back. Looks like you've been sleeping well. Megan! He's back, the my pillow guy. And you're looking good. He's still feeling good. Well, just when you thought it couldn't get any better, we've got the best pillow ever, my pillow 2.0. The best sleep just got even better. Whether you have a my pillow or not, you need to get the brand new my pillow 2.0. Call or go to mypillow.com now. Use your promo code, and for a limited time, when you buy one, you'll get a second one absolutely free. Hi, I'm Dr. Chaps. I want to introduce my friend, Mike Lindell, who wants to help support our ministry and the work of PIJN News. Uh, Mike, what do you think? Well, I think everybody out there, y'all need to get behind Pray in Jesus Name's ministry. Dr. Chaps here, but this great ministry needs your support and you can, you should donate to it. You can also use your promo code Pray News and anything you're getting from my pillow with big discounts, a lot of those proceeds are coming right back. I'm gonna put them right back into this, into your amazing charity and show. My employees and I are excited to announce it's our 20th anniversary. And to celebrate, we're bringing you a limited edition MyPillow. The Giza Elegance MyPillow is made with the most amazing cotton. Two inch pipe gusset comes in four custom loft levels and it's machine washable and dryable. When I got my pillow, I'm asleep Almost immediately, I stay asleep at night and I wake up more well-rested in the morning. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported in line. That's why we've been around for 20 years because my pillow works. Go to mypillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary my pillow queen size. Retails for 69.98, now only 19.98. That's right, only 19.98. With my 60-day money back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America. Defending your religious freedom. Here is Dr. Chaps. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Chaps. Joined again by Joe Dalton, who lives in Missouri, which is trending conservative, a red state. But Joe, in other states like New York, where I was uh, given up for adoption when I was three years old, thank God for a pro-life mom back in those days. Um, 
But today, New York is a blue state and they're trending left and, and a lot of Democrat voters, of course, in New York City, they are not very supportive of their pregnancy resource centers. We've recently interviewed Reverend Jim Harden, who is operating Compass Care in New York, very similar to what you're doing in Missouri. You have a network of, I think, 11 uh, PRCs that you've helped found, but he's got four of them and they're kind of under attack by the New York State government. New York State is funding Planned Parenthood, they prefer abortion, but they are attacking pro-life clinics by investigating them for daring to give away free diapers. Does that make sense to you? Um, well, it doesn't, I don't agree with it, but it doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, with, there's been a lot of cases around the country where where the state governments have, have gone out and, at, at, attacking pregnancy centers specifically, and more so since Roe versus Wade fell. Um, <laughs> and, and the reality is um, they, they want to try to figure out a way to put us out of business. Even, you know, Nancy Pelosi herself said that these centers need to be put out of business. So we're, we're, uh, we're always in a battle with the media and with the messaging. Um, if Planned Parenthood wants to spread some lie about pregnancy centers, all they have to do is make one phone call and that lie is nationwide on the media. Um, they say things like we give out inaccurate medical information, which is a lie, which is untrue. Um, they, you know, they, they say things like we're a fake clinic, that we don't have real medical staff, which we do. Um, there's, uh, but basically they try to um, run media campaigns against us to take us out. In fact, right after Roe versus Wade fell is when they were threatening centers and centers were being attacked physically um, by organizations that were reaching out to attack us. So thankfully we didn't get attacked, but many did. No, you're right. And for them to attack your messaging is really just a business strategy because they want more money, not only from the federal government, but from the woman paying for the abortion. So they have to discredit you as a competitor so they can get rich. Uh, tell me about Mifepristone because there's there's a lot of controversy. I don't think it's uh, uh, irresolvable, but but you have some information on this. Right, so the abortion pill is, is the largest of way of abortion right now. It's growing rapidly. In fact, they, they've tried to make it legal to, to mail it. Um, Walgreens and CVS are supposed to start administering these abortions in states where it's legal. So even your local corner pharmacy is gonna start doing this. But basically, um, there's a new thing that pregnancy centers are involved in called abortion pill reversal. So this is for when somebody takes that abortion pill, the mesopristone, you have said the word, but I can never say it. Um, the, they, um, if they have regrets after taking that first pill, it's not too late. We can actually reverse that um, because when, when they do the abortion, they have to take the first set of pills and then a second set of pills the next day. So they send the mother home with the pills. So if they have regrets, they can call us and we could, um, we can reverse that using progesterone. The interesting part is, is, is pro-abortion people are really mad about this, which which doesn't make any logical sense. I mean, you know, the, the, the woman made her choice. They should be happy about that. She changed her mind. That's a woman's prerogative, right? <laughs> and then we helped her reverse it. So why, they have their $500. Why, why are they upset? Uh, but they just are. And I think that's, to me, that's just unmitigated evil. They they want the death to occur. They want it to happen. Well, part of their argument is, oh no, you can't give them progesterone because that's a dangerous drug. Actually, it's the opposite. The mifepristone is the dangerous drug. That has actually resulted in, you know, side effects that are that are very unhealthy, sometimes deadly to the mom. But progesterone to reverse the abortion uh, is pretty common, isn't it? Absolutely. So progesterone is, is prescribed for mothers that are having trouble keeping pregnancies, that are have a history of miscarriages. So this is, we're just doing a, using a natural hormone to counteract what they've done. Um, and, and it's, and we've, we've had the pleasure of assisting three mothers uh, that originally chose abortion and then chose life. And those babies have all been born and they're perfectly healthy and wonderful. 
So wow. um, it's. So there is hope and there is healing and there is choice. Um, you, you know, the pro-choicers often talk about a woman's right to choose, but only one choice are they recommending and that is to kill your child. Whereas pro-lifers, when they try to offer the choice or the option or the resources giving away our wealth to them, to the pregnant mom, so that they can choose life as the other choice they could make, the left goes all crazy and says, no, no, that's not a valid choice. Abortion is the only choice. Um, <clears throat> Joe, we have just two minutes left. There's some mom out there who's recently pregnant and maybe she's watching this or maybe she was referred to this video online. What do you wanna to say to that mom who's in the Valley of Decision? Well, first of all, I want you to know that there are a lot of people out there that, that can help you. Um, and I want you to know you're already a mother. Uh, it's not a choice of between whether you, you, you're ready to be a mom or not, you already are. The choice is, do you wanna be a mother of a, of, a, of a live child or a dead child? That's your choice. Um, and pregnancy centers all over the country are, have their arms open, ready to help you with whatever you need to make it through the other side. Um, and, and, and I also bring up that you have the option to select other parents. If you're, if you're too young to make it on your own, you don't have the means, there are people, huge lines waiting to adopt children. Um, so that's, I would plead for that as well. But just know that Jesus loves you and we love you. Amen. Uh, I'm a chaplain, so I like to pray if you would permit me. Father in heaven, we Please. pray for every mother who is in the valley of decision, that they will choose life, that they will feel supported, that they will reach out for help to those of us willing to help, uh, to give away our own resources. Uh, as, as a child who was adopted myself, Father, I pray uh, that these pregnant moms see the benefit of giving their child up for adoption, that the baby may have a long and healthy and successful life instead of being prematurely ended and terminated. Lord, we pray for a pro-life uh, policy and government, not just in Missouri, but in the federal government. We pray American voters vote pro-life and that every child is saved and wanted. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Our guest has been Joe Dalton, supportmyprc.com. If you're in Missouri, get a tax credit if you give today. Our website is prayinjesusname.org. Again, prayinjesusname.org. Please, please donate today. We need your donations, large or small, to bring you these important interviews. If you need prayer or if you need advice, call us right now at 866-Obey-God. We'll see you next time. Dr. Chaps needs your financial support to stay on the air. Would you please send your best financial donation today? Please visit PrayInJesusName.org to donate online. Or you can mail a check to Pray In Jesus Name Ministries, Post Office Box 77077, Colorado Springs, Colorado 80970. You can also call us toll free right now, 866-Obey-God. That's 866-O-B-E-Y-G-O-D. Please sign up for our free emails at PrayInJesusName.org. Again, that's PrayInJesusName.org.